now in this video we will see the vector transformation that means a vector from one coordinate to another coordinate how to transform vector transformation okay like the point transformation we will have the vector transformation see first we will see rectangle to rectangular to cylindrical rectangle to cylindrical vector transformation so for this so I am taking the xy plane okay consider the xy plane x y xy plane I am taking and I am taking the point P this one will be the phi now fine and this one will be the rho so the unit vector along radial is a rho and the along phi direction is a phi okay now the same on the same point x direction is a x and this one will be the a y direction see all, all are the unit vector directions now according to mass if this is phi angle this angle will be the phi okay and meanwhile we just extend the see if this is positive a y this one will be the negative a y and this one is the negative a x okay and this one will be negative a phi clear now now observe see according to mass if this angle is phi this angle also phi now x and y are the orthogonal to each other that means the angle between these two is 90 so half angle is over this is one of the angle is over which is phi now this angle will be 90 minus phi okay and this angle also 90 minus phi now this angle will be this these two are 90 90 this angle is 90 minus phi then this angle will be phi and this is 90 minus phi okay and this one also phi okay now i can write a row right this is a row now this a row can be resolved into along x as well as the along y okay this row can be resolved into along x and the along the y now i can write a row as a row as see along x direction phi angle so cos phi a x cap plus sin phi a y cap because this is cos 90 minus phi so cos 90 minus phi is nothing but sin phi and this is zero now similarly this a phi can be resolved into negative a x direction and positive a y direction so negative a y direction this angle is 90 minus phi right so a phi uh, can be 90 minus phi is nothing but sin phi and the direction is negative ax okay be clear with the direction plus cos phi ay okay and az is same to az and now this put in matrix form a rho a phi az see three equation putting into the matrix form ax ay and az okay now see x to rho is cos phi y to rho is sin phi and 0 and minus sin phi cos phi 0 0 0 1 okay. this is the conversion from rectangle to cylindrical now <coughs> the vice versa will be good just take the transpose of this so that means i can take ax ay if this is a shortcut if you do from this also we will get the same thing i am writing directly and right? same thing we will get
I can get A rho A phi A z. Now take the transpose of this, you will get the same thing. So cos phi minus sin phi 0, sin phi cos phi 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? Either you can follow these, that means I can write Ax as along A rho and A minus A phi direction, right? This Ax we can resolve into positive A rho and negative A phi. So positive A rho it is phi, so cos phi A rho, right? Cos phi A rho and negative A phi is 90 minus sin phi, so minus A phi, A phi and 0. Okay? Ax, see here, observe. Ax along row direction is phi. Okay, so cos phi a rho and uh, negative a phi direction 90 minus phi. Cos 90 minus sin minus sin phi a phi. Zero is zero. Right? You just take the transpose of this matrix, you will get the same thing. Okay? This is unit vector transformation. Now similarly, I can convert it to magnitude form. That means that means see generally. A vector a bar in rectangle we can write as ax ax cube ay ay cube az az cube. Right? This is in rectangle. The same vector in cylindrical we can write as a rho a rho a phi a phi and az az. Okay. So here. Ax, Ay, Az are the magnitudes. These are the directions. Okay. Similarly here also, A phi, A rho, A phi, Az are the magnitudes, and A rho, small A rho, small A phi, Az are the magnitudes. Now, if I want A rho, magnitude of A rho, take A bar, a dot part with small A rho, and that means if I take the this A bar with the dot product A rho, that is A rho, A rho, A phi, A phi, and A z, A z, A z dot A rho. So dot product of A rho dot A rho is 1 and magnitude will be the A rho. So the result will be A rho, which we are getting the same thing. Now instead of instead of writing this A bar as I can write in rectangle coordinate system, right? I can write this A bar in rectangle coordinate system. Rectangle coordinate system. Ax, Ax cube, Ay, Ay cube, Az, Az cube. Dot. Take A row. Right? Now observe, ax dot a rho is nothing but, generally the dot product between two vectors is, how you can write, the dot product, a bar dot b bar, from the mathematics I am telling, a bar dot b bar is mod a, mod b, and cos of angle between them, theta, generally I am taking theta, same way, mod ax, this will be, ax will be similar, uh, separate ax will be there mod x is 1 because the unit vector mod a rho is 1 and angle between ax and a rho will be say observe here ax dot a rho ax and a rho what is angle now angle between this two is phi so cos phi ax cos phi plus similarly angle between a y and a rho observe here angle between y and rho 90 minus 5. 90 minus 5 is sin phi. Sin phi. Cos 90 minus 5 is sin phi. So, sin phi will get here. And there is no, say, a rho dot az is the, it is a 90 degrees. Generally, it is a 90 degrees. So, it becomes cos 90 is the 0. This is a rho is equal to ax cos phi plus a y sin phi. So, you just compare this one with this one. Both cos phi, sin phi are the same, and we are getting the cos phi and 
sin phi are the same. Here also cos phi, sin phi. A x cap, A y cap. So I can write based on these, right? Based on these, I can write A rho as A rho as cos phi A x plus sin phi A y. Similarly, A phi as minus sin phi a x plus cos phi a y and a z is equal to a z right i can put in matrix form a rho a phi a z okay put in matrix form So you get cos phi sin phi 0 minus cos phi sin phi sorry minus sin phi minus sin phi this is cos phi 0 0 0 1 here it is x a y z similarly in reverse way ax a y a z to get this take the transpose of this matrix so you will get the transpose of that is a rho a phi a z is cos phi minus sin phi 0 sin phi cos phi 0 0 0 1 okay. see this is unit vector transformation okay these two are unit vector transformation is called and then this one is called generally vector transformation vector magnitude transformation fine vector magnitude transformation now <coughs> now you got the cylindrical to rectangular vector transformation now second case is rectangle to spherical transformation we will see rectangle to spherical transformation that we will see in the next lecture